Something from Nothing by Phoebe Gilman. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. And one day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled and it's worn. It's unsightly and torn. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, said Joseph. And Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as the scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on that wonderful jacket and went outside to play, but Joseph grew older. As he went, grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. And one day his mother told him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small and it doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful vest. Joseph wore his wonderful vest to school the very next day. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. And one day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It's time to throw it out. <gasps> Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, and he took his scissors and went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore his wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. And one day, his mother told him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It's time you throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. And grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said. And he took his scissors and went snip, snip, snip. And his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful handkerchief. Joseph used that wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. But jo as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. And one day his mother told, said to him, look at your handkerchief, Joseph. It's been used and it's tattered and splotched. It's splattered. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, snip, snip and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful button. Joseph wore that button on his suspenders to hold his pants up. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, where is your button? And Joseph looked, it was gone. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house and he said, my button, my wonderful button is lost. His mother ran after him, Joseph, Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone, finished, kaput. Even your grandfather cannot make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid that your mother is right, he said. 
The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he said, as his pen went scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch over the paper. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful story. The end.